This afternoon, dentists across the state are only taking emergency patients. This is the first day of guidelines from the Alabama Dental Association. It says offices should be closed to all non-emergency patients for the next three weeks. Way 31's Ashley Carter spoke to a dentist. He says even though it may make it bad for business, he knows it is the best way to protect everyone. The most important thing for me was to uh, protect my girls and staff and, and, uh, and my patients. It's why Dr. Davis Reed stopped taking patients on Monday, ahead of the guidelines. His office had a staff-only cleaning day Tuesday before closing down. Dr. Reed told me the guidelines from the Alabama Dental Association asked dentists to only see emergency patients until April 10th. Infection, swelling, trauma, dental trauma. He and his staff will monitor their phones from home and be ready in case there's a patient who needs them. Hopefully, we don't have a lot of emergencies, but we're here on call. Um, I'm willing to come in whenever to help somebody. Dr. Reed told me most dentist offices are privately owned. That means they operate like a small business, and not being able to see patients for nearly a month will hurt their bottom line. It's a huge financial strain for us. Um, you know, if we're not producing and doing procedures, we're not getting income and revenue to pay bills, pay our employees. Um, that's the that's the tough part. But Dr. Reed is choosing to stay positive. He told me he's hoping this will die down soon. In the meantime, his team is already prepared for it the day they can reopen their doors to patients. I think it'll be a busy April, which is good. We need it. In Huntsville, Ashley Carter, Way 31 News. To alleviate some of the stress during this time, Dr. Reed says he will continue paying for his staff for the next two weeks. He said even though it may cause a little bit of a financial strain, he wants to make sure that his employees are still taken care of.